I think when it, even when this came out, like Easter eggs, people were probably I think people probably still look through code and stuff for Easter eggs. I could be wrong because it's probably something you could find in the code, but you'd have to be looking for it. Although my guess would be that there's absolutely nothing about it that sticks out. Because it's just, oh, one room slightly bigger than you think it is. In fact, actually, let's get a look at the map there. I think this is where we were, and it's not on the map. So, like, say one room slightly bigger than you think it is. You'd have to be paying very close attention to notice something like that. Which way is the fastest way? Here, we're after the penitentiary, so if we just go through this direction. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that I actually interrupted that, because that's actually a pretty funny story. Oh well. Damn it. Nobody's up. Good. So I was saying, yeah. So Easter, Easter eggs like that are always kind of interesting, especially if nobody finds them. In this day and age, like most of the Easter eggs you you likely to find have probably already been discovered by somebody else. And chances are you found them because you saw somebody say something about them. Every now and then there's an exception. And that can be interesting. The hell? I think the last Easter egg I discovered on my own um, would have been the PS4 version of Final Fantasy VII. There's a room in the northern crater. Okay, there it is. Good. There's a room in the northern crater in uh, Final Fantasy VII, which every now and then... Instead of the uh, the menu saying what room it is, it'll say Secret Cow Level, which is a Diablo 2 reference. And the only reason I noticed that was because I actually put the portable save point there and I was grinding in the next room. Because like the next room is like the best place in the game to grind. And like I said, the only reason I noticed it was because I saved it there while it said Secret Cow Level. It was a weird thing. Well, like most other Easter eggs are stuff that I've heard from elsewhere. Like, there's the Grand Theft Auto Vice City Easter egg, where it's literal Easter egg. And honestly, if you didn't know about it, there's no reason for you to find it, because... Like, you have to make a jump off a building into another building through a fake wall, and if you didn't know it was a fake wall, you're essentially intending to just jump to your death. Hey yeah, boys. I'm gonna break you. Let's 
Good work, everybody involved. Joke teeth around here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can hear them. Nobody in the bathroom. So this is what I mean with, like, unique assets here. This is the only place in the game where a mirror appears. It's a riddle. There it is. It's not a Sean plays if I'm not running into walls. Sometimes these doors can take so long to open. This place is loud. Hmm. Boom. Uh, there's another Riddler trophy over there, but it requires the cryptographic sequencer and the line launcher. And we're not going to get a line launcher until like way later. How did you do? You look kind of bored there, Ivy. You are. Last thing I need is you running free. Poor children. I'll save you. Poison Ivy's hair looks really weird in this game. Just the way it all hangs off the end like that. We'll get a better look at her later with it and... It just doesn't look right. Okay, so... A couple of things we want to check in here. We have this guy. Really weird. Looks like he has one arm, but his other arm's actually tied behind his back. It's a unique character model with nothing going on. Uh, nobody knew what that was about for a long time. Then somebody figured out uh, there was a contest. Um, somebody wanted to be featured in a game. And that's the character model for the contest winner. Hmm. I'm up here. Thank the Lord. Help. You need to get me out of this cell. Why are you in there, Cash? Cash, I need it out there. I can help you. I'm the only person here you can rely on, Batman. Help me! Hmm. A little back for you. Hmm. I'm up here! Holly. Holly! You have to help me. Ivy? Gee, you look like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have to much for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Reg. Hmm. On Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please. Uh, ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. So that's going to be a problem. Not really sure why she's not what I'm not really sure why she's not wearing pants. Oh yay. This'll be fun. Cut me free. 
say please. He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's useless. Half the code won't get you anywhere. We're trapped in here. Now we've unlocked the Bat Vita. There's always a way out. Always. Okay, so there. So I call this the Bat Vita. Um, really just because it has two analog sticks. And the Vita is like the only handheld that has two analog sticks. Lock this gate when I leave. Hmm. Were you cash a minute ago? Get me out of here! You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. Batman, it's me, the warden. You know me. You are beginning to impress me, Batman. You may still reach a level. So here's the trick. Oh, you've discovered my true face, detective. Please keep it a secret. He has no bones. You can't leave me locked up in here. And so here's the thing. <laughs> Clayface. That's about all Clayface contributes to the game. So let's continue. It's always weird to me, there's no riddles in this room. Almost every other room you walk into will have a riddle uh, that will appear underneath the name as you go through it the first time. This room? Nope. Nothing. Never. Oh, there's trouble. You know, Bats, I always thought there was a spark between us. So I love the way she's uh, trying to twirl her hair with a finger and the hair doesn't cooperate at all. You know, there's probably a reason why this is the only game in the series that gives Harley a mask. Like when she reappears in um, Arkham City, she doesn't have a mask. I think she has makeup near around her eyes to simulate the effect. But it's not like Harley has a secret identity anyway. There is one exception. Uh, the Batgirl DLC for Arkham Knight takes place like before this game, actually. Because of course it does. It's when Barbara was still Batgirl and not Oracle. Well, it won't be so easy trying to catch me. Uh, and Harley appears in that in her classic Jester outfit. It's like the only other time in the series she has a mask on. It's this way I want to go. It's interesting, the ventriloquist never appears in the series, but Scarface makes a few cameos here and there. Like, you already found Scarface uh, as a riddle. Patient pacification system deactivated. Alright, let's go after Harley. Let's get over the fence, Batman. Is it this way? Nope, it's this way. 
Who'd have thought Batman's greatest enemy would be a fence? God damn it. Really? The subject's obscured? Calendar man. There he is. Okay, and there's a Riddler trophy in this room. Right there. Awesome. There's also a Riddler trophy up there, but... Um... Pretty sure you need to come in, come here through this room to get it. Do I have any upgrades to spend? I don't think so. No. Shame. Wish I had the uh, cryptographic sequence. Uh, the range amplifier. So you're supposed to do it in this order. So you get him down. And it also turns off the electricity here. And you can get in here. Well, if you have the range amplifier, you can do this one first, and Harley has a different line for it. In fact, actually, um, let me do this first, otherwise I won't be able to come back in here for a while. There we go. Some free experience. Electricity is still off. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if you take longer than. Um. What was it? Two minutes. I wonder if you take longer than a minute thirty. There we go. Um, if you take longer than a minute 30, does she still say you only have 30 seconds? Get out of here, now! More Joker teeth. I thought we were both gonna die in there. You're safe now. Everything's fine forever. I saw her heading out of the door as we got out of the room. She won't get away. I'll stop her and then her boyfriend. Good. Listen, I'll go try and get the ventilation system working. If you find her... Don't go easy on her. For me. Yeah, sure, I'll do it just for you, Louie. Okay, so there's that. What was that thing he used? No idea. He saved our lives. Where is it? There we go. Interview tape. For Zaz. Grapple up. So doing this, we can actually get a look into the room now that we've left it. Joker Toxin. So what we need to do is actually get to the other side, and we need the Ultra Bat Claw and the Line Launcher for that. So again, that's something you have to backtrack for. Because after you after we leave here, we, there's never a story reason to come back here. trophy. It's worth grabbing the ones you can just get without any real trouble. Just because it's quick and easy experience. Let me see. Uh, range amplifier is like one of the best things for this. Because the other one is um, a power increase. That makes it easier to solve um, the cryptographic sequence and stuff. I think it means the range of success is actually higher. So you don't have to be as precise with it, but 
Uh, it's not particularly difficult to begin with. There's another guy there. Yes. All right. 